Alright, good evening. So I'm actually getting ready for tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some networking kind of early in the morning. So I'm just, you know, showing you guys how I do what I do. Alright, you know, I want to say when I go to events, I always make an effort to look my best. And um, this is how I prepare. So I actually haven't washed my face yet. I have brushed my teeth, but I need to plug these brows because if you can't tell... It, they just look a little, let me see if I can zoom in a little, I don't know. They just look like they need to be refreshed. And then I'm going to maybe do a mask and do some cleaning on my face. And then um, we'll see, we'll see where I feel like going from there. Feel free to skip this part if you get queasy watching people tweeze. This whole area is about to get red. <laughs> zero oil i kind of don't like how my phone is always showing things backwards when i'm using the front facing camera but it is what it is i honestly use like the tiniest amount you really can't even tell it's super tiny i feel like sometimes when i'm watching videos i see people using like huge amounts of soap and i'm like your face is not that big <laughs> really don't need that much soap I try to use as little as possible. That way I don't, you know, waste. Plus, these products are not cheap. Oh, yeah. Plus, if you can see my nails, I actually do nails. I've, like, learned how to do acrylic nails. It's still focused on my face. Okay, whatever. Get a little bit of water. I try to get my ears also. So tonight I'm actually using this Pacifica C and C Love, of course showing it backwards whatever but let me read you the ingredients okay we have water glycerin ascorbic acid vitamin c right um aloe vera juice sea kelp extract green tea extract um black tea ferment turmeric hyaluronic acid spirulina maxima extract so many good things honestly um when i saw the ingredients for this one I was kind of looking around and I was like, which one do I want? I want something that I, I don't have anything like it yet because I feel like my skin just has so many different needs. And so I'm wondering what this is going to be like. This is actually my first time using this. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any weird reactions. I'm really not allergic to anything. And I'm not going to lie. I like to put a lot of product on. And I usually mix it in, mix it in. I usually, <laughs> I'm tired you guys, okay? Had a long day. I just kind of moisturize or rub it in Massage it into my skin with the supposedly the weakest finger. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit more just because. Because I can. I actually have a few different products. I'll go ahead and show you guys a little... Um, I'll show you the medicine cabinet. I actually did clean it up a little bit because I knew that I was going to show you guys. So, I'll show you that in a second. Just really want to... And you know what? I've noticed that whenever you're applying some kind of a lotion or any type of product, you kind of want to keep rubbing it in as it dries so that there's really... 
but the skin really soaks it up and it's just not like sitting on top. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but. And then when I see, sometimes when I see people putting on different products, I just see them rubbing their face so hard and I'm like, that is so unnecessary. And you know what, you guys, I've actually done research on this problem area in the past. I haven't done any of the masks or, you know, followed any advice because I just feel like I just I don't want to try so many different things. I just want to know what the solution is. So if you guys have ever dealt with some kind of discoloration on your upper lip, let me know how you got rid of it. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let me show you my little medicine cabinet here in the bathroom, and, um, yeah. This brand right here, same brand right here, Pop Beauty, oh my gosh, look at the ingredients, and you're, you're, you're probably gonna fall in love, okay? And then we have our Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. I actually don't use that too often. Um, I heard a while back that you're really not supposed to be um, exfoliating too much and then of course this was the CNC oops <laughs> the CNC low serum I'm paying attention to the screen now what I'm actually looking at um, then we have our skin and lab Osha yes to some of my favorite brands um, this soap and glory this one's actually really intense I don't really use that one too much but yeah oh yeah can you see my nails I feel like now you can see my nails Ooh, I did them myself so did i do a good job let me know what you think okay so this is kind of what my face is looking like right now um i'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep but i'm gonna just resume this video when i wake up in the morning so i'll be waking up in five four three two one good morning it's 5 a.m I'm really not used to waking up at 5 a.m. right now. Alright, so good morning. Um, I'm actually going to be doing just a little bit of skincare before I get ready for the day. I have my little <laughs> cosmetic fridge right here. And I'm just going to open that up and grab my rose quartz roller and that's about it honestly I don't think I really want to ditch it's nice and cool already I've been having it cool since last night I finished plucking my brows as I said oh my gosh this feels so good anyways I'm actually really excited I haven't had any type of specialty coffee and if you're following me on social media then you know that I might have sent you a message on Instagram inviting you to this morning um, so basically what I'm going to is the San Diego County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce's um, cafecito it's um <clears throat> it's basically just like a coffee networking type of thing but for a while I hadn't been able to go for a variety of reasons but today I'm able to make it and I'm excited because I don't know if I've ever went to one that was in the morning before um but anyways yeah I'm just gonna keep rolling this around I really don't struggle with puffy eyes but I like to kind of just go in anyways Anyways, leave me a comment below if um, if you like networking, if you're trying to get to the net to the next level in life, because I feel like I was networking with a lot of artists for a long time, different types of artists, and they weren't so motivated to you know air quote get to that next level as much as I was, and. I feel like a lot of you have to take every encounter seriously. Like, you can't um, just think like, oh, it's no big deal if I don't make it. It's no big deal if I don't keep my word. It's no big deal if I don't respond to their messages. You know, everything matters. Everything you do and say matters. And either 
contributes to you reaching your goals or not. <laughs> oh, let me get my moisturizer. Okay, so right now I'm actually using the Daily Moisturizing Cream and the Day Lotion with SPF 30 from Burt's Bees. So I'm going to go ahead and put two pumps of the Daily Moisturizing Cream, two pumps of the SPF stuff. I mix it up together in my palm like so. Oops. And I put on my face. Alright, so we're gonna start with the foundation. So I'm just gonna put some right here on my finger. And then I'm gonna go everywhere with it. Not gonna lie, I'm a little sleepy still. And I am ready for breakfast too. But I'm really looking forward to the coffee. <laughs> I feel like I look pretty funny right now. <laughs> I feel like it always look funny when you're putting on makeup because there's different stuff that you're doing. Do I have a big forehead? I feel like I do. But of course, we're blending with the beauty blender. <laughs> yes, as you get to know me, you'll know that I'm always using different accents and saying different stuff in different ways. I'm actually glad because I feel like I'm doing it right this morning. Sometimes when I put on makeup, I'm like, oh no, I forgot this step, I forgot that step. And you know what? Like I could use primer, but I feel like I'm not sure if that would be too much. And I don't like to put too much on my face because I am kind of, um, my skin is kind of porous. And so I definitely don't want to put too much on it. Gonna get in there. Okay. Okay, so it's all blended. Now, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of concealer. Just a little bit. I really don't need it. But I'm putting it in just to perfect. Oh yeah, I'm using um, It Bye Bye Under Eye, and then for the foundation I was using Cover FX. What shade is this? G40. And then for the concealer, I'm using Medium. Usually I want to put it up here, as I said, I have a problem area, and I don't want it to show. I'm just going to put a little bit, you know, just a little bit more under here, because I feel like I can see that vein. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. It was beautiful before, but now it's all cleaned up. I'm trying not to wake anybody up, that's why I'm not talking too much. Okay, now we're gonna do the brows. So I keep most of my smaller products in this little thingy. If it fits in there, it goes in there. Because I don't like losing small stuff like this. I have a bunch of products. I have a bunch of products here in my drawers, but all of these smaller ones always get lost. Um, I'm using Eco Brow Penelope today. Usually I like to use the one I think that's called Rita. I think it's called Rita. Um, but I like I want to use Penelope today because she's dark. Thingy. What was this? I can't remember what brand is. Oh, Pure. Yeah, there's a Pure blender right here. 
I'm not gonna lie. I, when I got these tools, um, I want to say the reviews were not the greatest, but I'm just like, why? It works really well, and it doesn't leave any type of little lines or anything. Because when you look at the, the blender, it has like this little padding. It looks almost like a fingerprint, but it's not. It it looks it blends so well. It blends so well. I don't know what the complaints were about. Cause I like it. I just want to blend that out a little bit. I feel like foundation drowns out the shape of your face, and so when you contour, it really does redefine the face after foundation. And that's usually what I use it for. I'm gonna massage my thyroid. Is, is this where the thyroid's at? I'm not sure, but I feel like this one needs massage. Alright, now, now what am I using? Oh yeah, eyeshadow primer. So we're using Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow primer. I've used, I've had this tube for years, and it still has plenty of product in there. I can't really seem to find other primers that don't like do too much and get too sticky. This one I have no um, complaints with or about. It does the job. You know what? I would say it does kind of leave a white film on my lid, but if I if I put just the right amount and I don't. And I really do make sure to blend it in, like, right as I'm putting it on, and I don't just leave it there. Like, I don't just put some on my lid and leave it there, which I've done before for some reason. And I just keep rubbing it out, massaging it out so that it's even. And then I do this. I have no problems, usually. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side. My... to the side. And then, for the eyeshadow today, we're not gonna do too much. We're just gonna use this NARS... Um, what color is this? Kingston. And put that up on the lid. And I think I'm gonna use some colors from Lawless, the one, baby. The, the, the baby one, the one baby, and this one is, or maybe that's the name of this palette, I don't know, but anyways. Okay, so first, let me get a brush. Let's see the brush. I should have brush. I need to clean my brushes for sure. They're not horribly dirty, but they do have some other colors on there still, so I'm just kind of like, anyways, okay, so first we're going to use, what color is this one? Forever Mine. This one right here? Yeah, Forever Mine. This one. Paint that all over. I am an artist. I still need to put on some blush and highlighter and the lashes. But as I said, we're not doing too much today. Not like the colors aren't gonna be too crazy. Ah, something like that. Hold up. Okay, I think I got it. Not sure what it was that was in my eye, but okay. Now we're gonna do the Kingston. Where should I put this? Probably just right here. Yeah, that's nice. Nothing too crazy. Super subtle. The point is to look natural. As natural as you can, at least. Okay, and then... Because we are using makeup. <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit of this, what is this? Cozy... Cozy bundle. This one right here. I wonder what kind of coffee I'm gonna have this morning. Because as I said, uh, we're going to brew... We're going to brew bar. <laughs> And Brew Bar is this, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like, it's some of a bar, but they have like a lot of specialty drinks there, a lot of specialty coffee, teas from around the world, just different stuff. I've only been there like once before, so. And what was his name, Sal? Sal made me something pretty cool. Can't remember what it was he said it was, but if you visit Brew Bar and Sal's there, tell him I said, what's up? He's a cool dude. And then I think the owner is going to be there today. You know what, today, in fact, they're going to give half of the proceeds to um, Love, Thy Neighbor, Love Thy Neighbor Movement. Love Thy Neighbor Movement, I've actually seen them seen them already online multiple times. I want to say last year they were doing a toy drive and um, I had some friends that were participating in the whole like setup of it all so that was cool. I didn't get to go though, at least not the way that I wanted to and since, you know, the mm -hmm, if you can tell what I said, kudos to you because that was really difficult because of, you know, what's been going on the last two years. Um, there was a lot of restrictions on like who could attend so it's like if you weren't directly coordinated to go or directly coordinated, if you hadn't coordinated your attendance there and if you weren't there to drop off a bunch of toys or get toys then it wasn't really like appropriate to go but I wanted to but I didn't get to. It's okay. Stuff happens. Oh yeah, and the, the blush that I'm using is Pixie by Petro. If you couldn't tell by the packaging, I feel like their packaging is pretty signature. They always use the same colors. I love those colors. I do feel like the packaging is a little bit simple, but whatever. I love the product. The one thing though I would say, I wasn't like a big fan of the eyeshadows, but like all their skincare and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it right here on my temple just to bring a little bit of balance to my face. Because I feel like I put just a little bit too much. Okay, you can hardly tell. Okay, so what else? Oh yeah, let me do some highlighter. 
What time is it? Let's see what time it is. My computer. Oh my gosh, I gotta leave in like a half hour. Ah, okay. Oof. I already have my clothes picked out, so it's totally fine. I love putting highlighter on my nose. I feel like I really like my nose. I have a nice nose. I like to put highlighter where it belongs. I'm gonna put some eyeliner with the matte black from Physicians Formula. I like to use stuff that's really not that intense, really not that, you know, extremely high end. Majority of the stuff you can get from, um, like a, you know, pharmacy. I do like CVS. I do like Rite Aid. <laughs> but certain products you can't get, at, you know. And I also shop at discount retail stores. So, I don't judge. I just try to get the best of the best, and I look up the formulas, and if there's something new, I might try it, if it looks like it's going to work for me. Meaning, like, if I look at the ingredients and I like what I see, I'll get that. I always try to look up the ingredients, and I do care about whether or not something is cruelty-free. Coloring in my little beauty spot right there. Okay. Let me just add a little bit. Or I could brush it out. There we go. Brushing it out always. I've got a bunch of lint in this brush. Yeah, these need to be washed. Okay. Now for the mascara, then lashes, then I get dressed, and then we go. Then I'm gonna show you kind of like the rest of my morning. Stuff like that. I'm excited. I'm excited. I haven't gone out in a couple weeks. I should put on lashes today or if I should just keep it simple and you know what we'll put the lashes sometimes I'm like do I need to keep talking or will they just like watching me I really don't know I know that there are people out there who probably want to get to know me a little bit better but I feel like if it's not business related it's a little bit hard for me to connect I'm not sure why I struggle with that but like if I can't find the glue then that decides that I'm not wearing lashes today <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't feel like I need the coffee. I mean, <sighs> yeah, so, honestly, I don't feel like I really need the lashes. Um, not today, at least. It's not a special event. Usually, I put them on for, like, major events when everybody's going to be, like, glammed out and everything. But, um, I already look so good, you know, so... I don't really need the lashes, I don't feel, um, yeah, I'm gonna put on some earrings, put on some perfume, and then we're gonna head out. I actually just missed the 929. That's the bus I'm catching. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just leaned back on this bench and this thing is cold. Oh my goodness, it's cold out here. Fall is coming, you guys. Fall is coming. But if you can tell, I am getting more in shape. <laughs> and I had a really good time, honestly. I got to chat and make a new friend. Her name is Lorena and she owns a, a restaurant. So exciting. So, so awesome to hear about, you know, different things that people are doing. You know, building, building legacies, you know. It's a beautiful area, I'm not gonna lie. 
I think uh, Ricardo, the the president of the chamber, he was saying that they were going to be having cafecitos at a different location now. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'll probably bring you to another one as well. Of course, I didn't really get to record any of the conversations because not trying to insult anyone's privacy, but but yeah.